It's certainly a pleasure to be with you all again today at Growth Energy's Executive Leadership Conference. You know, I'm honored to serve again as Secretary of Agriculture for President Biden in the country. And I want to assure you that with respect to renewable fuels and climate policy, the Biden administration has made it abundantly clear that renewables, sustainability, and reaching our climate goals are a central objective of this team. Now, recently, I met EPA Administrator Michael Regan in Iowa, and he was visiting the state in part to show his support for our biofuels industry. He's talking to stakeholders in agriculture and biofuels. He's showing up and he's following through. And having an EPA administrator committed to listening and talking with farmers and producers of biofuels is certainly a welcome development. I encourage you to work with the administrator. He's a good partner. Now, I recently met with Secretary Granholm, our new energy secretary. She and I discussed ways our departments can work together on technical issues relating to scientific modeling, research, and innovation to continue to develop advanced renewable fuels. For example, aviation fuel produced 100% from biosources has the potential to make air traffic more sustainable and decrease the overall carbon footprint of travel and commerce. The marketplace is massive and it could be a game changer for the U.S if we get aggressive in our approach to aviation biofuels. We also know that there's a lot of focus on electric vehicles and that's created uncertainty for many supplying the feedstocks to produce renewable fuels. I can assure you that this administration understands that millions of Americans like me still rely on gas-powered vehicles every day. And we're going to do what we can to ensure renewable liquid fuels continue to have the infrastructure and support to offer consumers a sustainable option. I'm certain that the USDA and this administration understand and appreciate the need to ensure renewable liquid fuels continue to have the infrastructure and support to offer consumers a sustainable option as society transitions away from fossil fuels. Moreover, production of renewable fuels is essential to putting bio-based manufacturing at the center of a renaissance in rural America. The President's American Jobs Plan, for example, makes a once-in-a-lifetime investment to position U.S. agriculture and business to lead a bio-based manufacturing revolution in rural America. The plan also addresses the climate crisis with a market-based approach and begins to move us towards a clean energy economy led by the production of renewable fuel and energy and bio-based products grown and manufactured here in the U.S. This is an opportunity to create thousands of new jobs right here at home. Now, we also need to ensure that biofuels receive credit and recognition for the conservation practices and sustainability work that farmers are putting into producing those feedstocks. Coming months you're going to see this administration step up our game by integrating climate smart agriculture and forestry practices into all the work we do with farmers and foresters. The potential is here to create a massive win for rural America and farmers, for end users of these products and for our collective conservation footprint. President and I share this positive vision for the future, and we know this industry needs support and attention in the near term. Look, 2020 was an historically tough year for biofuels, as it was for many other parts of our economy, due to reductions in travel and commerce. When the new administration came into USDA in January, we began a review of how COVID relief funding had been spent. And out of that review came the USDA Pandemic Assistance for Producers Initiative, where we identified existing resources that could go toward providing help to a much broader set of producers and businesses across the agricultural supply chain, which would of course include the biofuel industry. Now we have more work to do to distribute existing resources fairly and equitably, but I want to assure you that this USDA and administration will prioritize American biofuels when the help is needed. Once again, you can look to USDA as a champion for market-based solutions to climate change, for championing bio-based products like renewable fuels, and for putting American agriculture at the heart of a rural revitalization. I look forward to our partnership as we go forward, and I wish you the best of luck as your conference continues.